Today I'm going to talk about crossing the border from Hong Kong to mainland China. Crossing border from Hong Kong to mainland China isn't too difficult because there's by far not the long line like in United States or in France or Amsterdam. It should be a really simple procedure. So me and my mom and dad are talking about going to visit a friend in Shenzhen so we can have a little meal together. So I will bring a little gift. The little meal will be the traditional sweet rice wine and potent egg in it. We're so excited about that. I was really excited about that poached egg. It has been many years that I didn't eat an egg that special. So with all the joyful movements, we went to the border and um, started to cross. So at the first um, stop, we filled in a form. And then we went ahead, went to the second stop. At the second stop, I had to take my fingerprints for left hand and for fingerprints right hand and two thumbs. Um, and, and then the officer started to talk to me and ask me, my passport asked me my nationality and and then he said that just doesn't seem very right you have to talk to somebody and then somebody took me to a small confined room and that room is very small has some uh iron bars everywhere uh looks like the the things that those handicapped people should grab on and started questioning me. And usually at French and American borders, they ask you, did you have fun? Did you bring food? Do you love the food? Um, but at this one, it says, wow, um, are you an American citizen? We just feel this is not quite right. So when it's not quite right, we have to take our time to um, look at it. So they took their time and asking, asking about personal information. And after about 20 minutes, uh, 15 to 20 minutes, finally, they let me go. And I felt a little bit disappointed due to the current censorship, um, current people disappearing in China and um, current uh, Canadians getting arrested in China. I decided just return to Hong Kong right away. Um, so I came back to the stops, I'm glad I returned right away because none of the machines recognize my passport automatically. I have to go through all the all the um, stops with those officers. So finally I came back to um, to Hong Kong and the train ride from the border to the my Marriott Hotel was $38 per one way. That is about six or seven American dollars. About six American dollars. This is one of the most expensive train ride that I've ever had. It was about eight stops, um, $38, seven, like 
more than five American dollars. Uh, so I finally came back and decided probably it is not a good idea to cross the border to go to Shenzhen to eat anything. After all, that is just a sentimental feeling to eat those rice wine, wine and poach some egg in it. It's not even a decent meal. Just want to taste that uh, feeling of uh, as a young kid, don't have any food to eat. Oh, that rice wine, that poached egg just tastes so great. Oh, well, I can skip it now. Um, this is my experience crossing a border. I'm very lucky. I just got questioned for a while, didn't get detained or anything. So